Hello and welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod, and it is one of those occasions that most of you wait for, and I I still don't see it myself, but hey, I'm going to do what y'all like, which is, well, token opening, right? We're going to go for those latest legends that popped up. We got the new one in the store today, on uh, today, day 3,733. It's almost like biblical when I say it like that. Um, so X-23 or Weapon Hex, and I'm going to refer to her as Weapon Hex while she's in the game. I mean, because X-23, just, I don't know about you, but it makes you feel like it's the four-star version. Weapon Hex is kind of more cemented. Come on, it's like a cooler name than... Anyways, you get that point. All right, um, so if I go over to here, hit Recruit, go down to Legendary. There we go. We got... Um, well, Weapon Hex isn't the one we're pulling for, despite all the talk about it, but we have the Hunter, uh, in here, as well as, um, Peggy Carter, uh, Worthy Peggy, I guess we were calling her, right? And, um, of course, Goose, uh, with the whole Flurkin family. Now, we've already got Worthy Peggy champed, we've already got Goose champed, and, uh, we definitely need, um, some Hunter covers, just to give you a quick run out run down of where we're at here um if i go into roster um actually i need to just double check myself there we go multiple man is um favorable now as well so i highly suggest just like me right here click that heart before you go and do a pull session like this because i mean he's uh, there's a lot of good four stars, but he's definitely one that's going to create a new uh, quick win uh, objective. Kind of like how Kang gave us an easy way to win a lot of different battles without a lot of sweat. Um, Multiple Man is doing the same thing for us with the right team combination. So I definitely highly advise putting that heart on him. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it off my current one, which is Shuri, which honestly I only had it on her because I want the Okoye shards and um, she's probably going to be my first Ascended 4-star, if I'm being honest. Um, so, here's my favorites right now. 5-star Hunter, 4-star Multiple Man, and 3-star Honey Badger, because she just came out in the, store, uh, in the stores as well. So, <sighs> without further ado, let's get to the Legendary Pulls, shall we? Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly down the list. Okay, any goose... And Peggy covers we get is just a cherry on top, extra gravy. So you you know, so they say. Um, thanks, Noble. I appreciate it. We're looking for Hunter covers. Come on, give them all to me. Seventy nine pulls worth. Let's go. Valkyrie, which I mean, it's not the Hunter, but we'll take it because Valkyrie is not a bad character whatsoever. Unlike Dazzler, who's very niche. There we go. We got a hunter already. Third pole. Already got one. A uni unity collar or a purple ability for her. Good stuff. And 50 shards for her as well. This is a nice hype start. Picture your own air horn sounds here, if you will. <laughs> and, whoop, oh, second legendary pole out of four already. A Peggy. Woohoo! I don't know about you guys. I know she's like not that thrilling. But in this current PvE, the simulator, um, that five-star essential node where she's the essential character, she's tearing it up in there because the enemy is Black Bolt. And, well, they're just creating charged tiles for you. And she's just punishing them for even existing. And there we go with more Hunter Shards. 125 more on top of it. So we got four covers for her in reserve in Shards alone. Good stuff. And there had to be a dud. There's Penny Parker. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> can't, th can't all be good, right? Some more Hunter Shards. Not gonna turn that down. The there we go. We got Misty Knight. And there you go. Another Hunter. A purple one at that. Ghost? Eh. 
Ghost match damage still needs to be like buffed. I mean, I know she has it buffed, but she doesn't like it doesn't take effect until after you make the match. It needs to be like pre make the match so that she can tank. That's my gripe with her. Abomination. Still a good four star zombie character. Poor Wilson Fisk. Oh, hello. Four, four, four star Peggy. Good. I mean, five, four star cheese. Five star Peggy. Good stuff. Really, I, I think I might end up enjoying her in certain matchups. I don't know, just the idea that she punishes enemies on their turn just for having charge tiles out. I feel like there's something there we can abuse. Hulkling. Okay. Scott, so wow. I'll just take the free multiple man cover right there. Woohoo! Good stuff. Big pun. Can't help it. Every time I see four star Punisher, that's it's big pun. I saw the moon symbol symbol and I almost thought it was Moon Knight. <laughs> moon Dragon. Forgot we had another moon in there for a second. Honestly, I haven't used her much since she came out. Like she's not bad, but I know there was a little bit of hype with Moon Dragon at first, but it really died down. There was that whole like, oh, put her with two other unkillable characters and watch her watch the sparks fly, but it really didn't happen, did it? You love using Moon Dragon because you play Mantis and Drax all the time. I, you know, I can't blame you on that, Noble. That's a, can't, that's a good combo. I like just Mantis and Drax, period, though. I'm just being honest here. Mantis and Drax are fun. Mordo. There's Gore. I like... Oh, this guy doesn't get enough talk. <laughs> Gore has led the killing spree many a times on my fights. <laughs> Dr. Bong. I keep forgetting he exists in this game. He's not even bad. It's just he's overshadowed by so many other good characters. Nick Fury. Oh, here we go. Another five star. Been a minute. And it's another Peggy. She is all over this. It's kind of crazy. I haven't seen a single goose, but oh, and a full set of multiple man shards. Good stuff. And that goose has not come out of hiding. But we have plenty of Peggies and some Hunters to go with this. Forty-nine covers left. Blade leading, leading those forty-nine down. Kate Pride. Rogue. When I saw Rogue, one of the things I thought of—I don't know if you guys, how much uh, you guys keeping with comics at all, at all i saw something the other day someone posted an image of where rogue was flying like a nuclear missile off into the distance to save everyone else right and they someone had attached i think it was nightcrawler warped deadpool to her so that way they could hang on together hence rogue taking deadpool's power and they just like i guess the images of them dissolving under the nuclear blast but Deadpool's healing keeping them alive and they're just talking casually while it's happening it was it was a fun fun image is even as serious as a nuclear explosion is we'll take another five star hunter with 125 shards we're looking at almost enough shards to make a fifth cover in sh not fifth I, well no yeah almost enough to make a fifth for her in shards it's awesome 40 more pulls to go. North Star. I've had a few Hulklings. Like, what's his deal? He just wants to be a part of the game, huh? You oh, I'm sorry, no, I missed that. You really like Dr. Bongs. He gives everyone else true healing. This, you know, that is not spoken enough. En Whoa, another 125 Hunter Shards. I've had a lot of those bonuses here today. I guess that's good luck. 
Um, yeah, you're you're not wrong. And the noble, um, that's not talked about enough. Doctor Bong is one of the only characters out there that offers true healing, and not just for himself, but for his team. It's awesome. There we go. Thank you, bonus shards. There's five covers for the hunter sitting there in shards now. I think by the time we're done with this, I think she'll be done. If this keeps, yeah, she's got to be done. Hey, John, how's it going, man? Good to see you here. Um, we've been doing really good in this poll session. Um, another Peggy. Peggy has been all over this. She's just very um, outgoing today. <laughs> I have five full covers worth of initiate shards. Uh, Hunter, the initiate, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty good stuff. Multiple man's got four extra covers already. Plenty of regular cover pulls, too, for them. But Goose is nowhere to be found. Thankfully, we just champed Goose very recently. More Hunter shards. This is crazy. I guess I'll get to try out some Hunter combos before we knew it. I mean, like, like I wasn't expecting my Hunter to be champed this early on, but I might have her done sooner than I thought. If anyone was ever curious if free-to-play gaming, you know, could work, uh, here's your proof. <laughs> um, what's that, Noble? I don't know. didn't know which support to level up to five stars, so I just picked the Taskmaster Sword. I mean, you're not wrong. Taskmaster Sword is a good one. Um, I would also wager that um, anything that you're using for your PvE clears is a good thing. So, like, for me, for instance, I use Okoye for almost everything under the sun. Uh, just to speed things up. So um, I put the Fantasticar on her, which is great at making extra team up AP. So Fantasticar is getting the, the favorite. Oh, hey, there's Goose. Finally showed up. Nice. I know not everyone's shining on Goose, but anytime I have a one-hit kill mechanism, I like to try to exploit it as much as possible. And there's some more Hunter Shards. That's... I, maybe there's a maybe you should like get an edit of this clip and like how many times I say and there's some more hunter shards. <laughs> it would probably be ridiculous. Eddie Brock, still an underrated character, but another five star hunter. But we have enough purple with her to make a whole another five star. This is ridiculous. You keep giving me that color for her. I would like some yellow or black, sirs and madam. What's that? I love downing characters with a three star horrifying. Uh, yeah, the three star version did it too. Uh, I'm hope you caught where uh, we took down heroic mode apocalypse with three star goose. That was super fun. First pull is reptile. The rest better be awesome, John. <laughs> you aren't wrong. If he was reptile, hey, there's a black hunter. Nice. Um, First pull's Reptile, the rest better be awesome. You are not wrong, man. That's some bad luck. But, I mean, I had a Penny Parker, so maybe you're, it'll be the same way for you. There's a Hydra Stomper. We all like to make fun of him. <laughs> More Valkyrie. Never a bad thing. Doc Ock. Which isn't bad. Yondu... Oh, another hunter. The yellow one. Man, it's all coming through. This is going to be a ridiculous percentage. 50 more shards, too. Jeez. I I might not spend the extra extra tokens this time around, guys. I, I usually will take the extras that we make and turn around and spend them, like, right away to get more stuff. But, I mean, if I already champ her... I don't see any reason to spend them. We can just save it for the next session. Uh, hope you're, you know, cross your fingers. <sighs> yeah, Hunter is done. Just got to be done. This is ridiculous. It's probably the best luck I've had for a pull session in a long time. More Eddie Brock, which is kind of strange seeing him twice. And Ant-Man. 
How many did I start off with? Um, about 70... Boy, what was it? Noble, you were here with me. What was it? <laughs> 78 or something? Ah, uh, I forget. 75 there about. Yeah, right. Sleep. Another 125 shards. Jeez, Hunter. Some more Peggy. Wow. You know what's funny is my hunter might be champed after this, but my multiple man won't be. <laughs> Although, to be fair, my multiple man might be close. Three more. Some lizard. And lockjaw. And finally, ended off with some Clea. Okay. Who is next to leave the polls? Cat or Cap? Uh, that's a great question. I think it's Peggy. Am I wrong? I feel like... I feel like it's Peggy is next to leave because I've had her champed for a little bit now and I just got Goose champed recently. I feel like that's what it is. Um, and it's usually I get them champed in order, not because I want to, just because it's how it works. Um, well, let's go back and see what we got here. Ooh, rewards. Oh, thank you, Alliance members. Yay. Okay. Um, here, let's do some quick, quick math. I had, what? Well, I have a bunch of these sitting here because I'm waiting for Venom to become ascendable. I'm sure you all can relate to on some level about this. So four, five, six. So six one stars. How many two stars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two plus a six is twenty-eight. So twenty-eight. Um, that can't be right. One hundred seven minus the twenty-eight. Ninety-nine. That can't be right. How did I get that many covers pulled out of this? Do I have any three sitting there? No. How did I get that many? What? <laughs> What's at the bottom of the list? That's where we started. We started with Valkyrie, Dazzler, Juggernaut. Did I do the math wrong? 79? Yeah, I did the math wrong. That's all it was. Yes, John, thank you. I did my math wrong. Thank you, buddy. See, this is why, you know, this is why we do the stream here, because you guys complete me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's spend these fives, get these into place. Um, as a matter of fact, before I forget my, um, my, well, my words now, I need to get, where's my notepad? I had a notepad. It was here. Just seconds ago. No. No, for real, where'd it go? Oh, whatever. I had 79. I'm looking at my computer screen. Don't mind me. There it is. Found it. Oh, did you know? It saved my stuff from last time. I reset my computer and it saved my notepad. I didn't ask you to do that. Oh well, Peggy Carter. Let's level her up. We just used one Peggy right there. Oh, how many did we get? That was just one we used. One, two, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We got that right? Four, eight, 12. 13 and one I just spent was 14. Yeah, 14 of them. So, 14. Who likes calculators? I do, I do. We're going to get the calculator out and do a little quick math. What is that? 14 into 79 because John gives me the awesome numbers. 17, almost 18% pull rate. That's not bad at all. Um, can't be mad with that, right? I feel like it was better than that, though. Am I wrong? <laughs> okay. Well, let's spend these anyways. Go on, Peggy. 
we're going to move this out of the way. Peggy's getting these covers, legendary tokens. Look at that, 457 for her. I mean, I didn't plan on leveling her up, but, you know, here we are. Hunter. It feels better because 14 is a lot. I mean, it kind of is, isn't it? Training up this. One, two, two. Five in Unity Collar now. Three in Slash. Four in Spire. And then I have the shards, so we'll just we'll just spend it right here. Doop. There we go. Champed up. And we're a promoter. And then we're going to level her up based on covers. And based on shards. Wow. We reached 455 with her, and she just hit latest legends. That's ridiculous. I, when's the last time we've done that? Does it feel like the shards has gotten better over time, or is this acceptance? No, no. No, it has gotten better over time, Noble. Um, big time. I feel like they've raised the percentages. They've even mentioned raising the percentages at one point. But they've. Um, it's definitely showing itself to be much better. Um, I think it also helps that overall we have... As you play the game longer and longer, as long as you keep up the grind that we do, um, your four-star rewards will start growing and growing. All these champ rewards grow with you more and more. Everything you do, every one of these pull sessions is contributing to the next pull session by making the champ rewards bigger and bigger and bigger. So yeah, I think it's, um, I think it's getting better and better as time goes on. The grind and, uh, and the devs are both giving it giving us uh good prizes goose <laughs> they wait so peggy's got like 457 458 hunter got 455 goose finally hit 451 you know goose it's your own fault for being in hiding the whole darn time you know if you want to be a higher level cat come out of hiding okay anyways let's get these fours in here clea giving us some long shards nice Got some Kamala Khan shards from Lockjaw. Yeah, I'm gonna say it right now. We don't need to go and respend our legendary tokens. We can save up for the next session now, which will be for when Weapon Hex gets involved. Frady Cat, yeah, Frady Cat, that's right. <laughs> Ant Man at 369. Wow, I didn't know I had him that high up, but it makes sense. <clears throat> Got some more Null Shards. Riri feeding herself. Kind of weird. To at least say out loud. Gondu, Karnak, Valkyrie. Oh, Valkyrie's one away from being maxed out herself. Hydra Stomper giving me some Killmonger. I mean, this is what I'm talking about right here. Just the fact that we're spending all this and getting all these shards, all these covers... Like, and it just gets bigger and better as time goes on. Like, it is a rich get richer system. And it's only because, like, as long as you keep playing and doing your grind, every pull session should be, on average, better than the last. Obviously, sometimes it'll be a little lacking, but it'll ramp upwards. It's like inflation. <laughs> but in a good way. Of course, I've always been one to subscribe to the slow and steady wins the race formula for success as well. So, Electra's almost maxed out. Jubilee up there. Nick Fury even up there. See, like all these, all the ones that are like level 360 to 370, that area, those, those last 10 levels are huge for rewards. Ever since I had my first character start to reach that, the reward influx has definitely jumped. Of course, it's going to get harder because of dilution, but I mean, it's just a trickle, you know, at that point. It's it's not like it's going to make the biggest dent in my reward income, but, you know, take what you can. Nico giving me more hunter shards. That's ridiculous on top of it. So that's 7 out of 54, John. 13%. Not bad. Not bad, man. I mean, I know it's not 15, but still. 
It's not the worst we've done. We've seen a lot worse in our time. Yeah, Four star Thor is trying to build her up to refarm her up. Ooh, Cyclops. Scott Summers hit ascendable level. Not that I'm going to do that anytime soon, but nice to see it. Kingpin at 150. Oh, there we go. God, I got 250 more long shards here. Worse has happened recently and frequently. It this is true. <clears throat> I've seen those numbers and I totally understand that sometimes it just happens. You get those 8% pull rates and you just kind of sigh heavily. Alright. What else we got in here? Got some of these uh upgrades in this. Null, take a level. Thanks for the hero points, Null. Star Lord, take a level. By the way, look at my HP. When I started this session today, my HP was like high five thousands, bordering on six thousands. Maybe, maybe even less. Maybe like five thousand five hundred, something like that. Now I'm at nine thousand four hundred, all because I did this poll session. So next time a special store comes around and you're like, oh, you need for forty poles, you need six thousand HP. I can spend it a lot easier because of these poll sessions. Killmonger. We're just ranking up here. Moon Knight. Is that five caps, two hunters, and zero for... See, Goose is just hiding. Yeah, I get it, John. Oh, Moon Knight finally got to 451. Dang, dude. Take long enough. And the weapon hex is already sitting here with five, five covers worth of shards, so not bad. So I already have basically, in theory, six covers for her. So that's not bad one bit. Multiple man, forgot about him. Um, should I start spending? That's like what six covers worth, and I got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess I could bring them up a bit. Do this. Do this. Yeah, that's that's nice and safe. So I should be fine from there. There we go. Good job, Jamie Madrox. Madrox, whatever you want to pronounce your name. Okay. So now we got 1285 CP. Well, I'm sorry, 1286. <laughs> and our legendary tokens are back up to 10. We're not going to spend them now. We're saving them. This is going to kickstart us. It's like a little nest egg going for the next pull session when um, Weapon Hex joins the latest Legends, and I think it'll be uh, uh, Peggy who drops out. So, what's that? You mentioned One Star Venom. I have three waiting for his third power. Uh, he reptiles 309. <laughs> yeah, I hear that, man. Yeah, for One Stars, one, two, three, four, five, six Venoms waiting. They're 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 just chilling. Just waiting patiently. Um, some of these others are just waiting for their partners to get ready. But yeah. Be nice one day to get that done. Plus I got some two stars waiting too. Ares and Human Torch are just waiting patiently. One day, gentlemen, you'll get your turn. Anyways. Thank you very much for joining me, John. Thanks, Noble. I really appreciate seeing you both here. Uh, I haven't seen you in a bit, Noble. It's kind of cool to see you come back like that. And um, I will see you guys really soon because, of course, we're going to have to hit up some more sessions with some of these other events coming in. I might even do a session or two with this simulator because, man, Mr. Sinister, Carnage, and Medusa are kind of a problem, aren't they? But hey, I got four clears on it. Maybe I should play around and show you guys a couple tricks. We'll do that some other time. Thanks for joining me. Catch you guys next time. Later.